Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Beck and welcome to Inside Buena Park. It's the 39th annual elementary art show and we're here at City Hall where the artwork has been displayed here for about a month now and tonight they'll choose winners from each grade. We'll be talking to some of the artists as well as looking at the amazing artwork and let me tell you we were here a couple of years ago and these kids are really talented. So we'll be talking to them as well as Patricia who's in charge of the event so stay tuned right here on Inside Buena Park. On Thursday, January 29th, the City Hall Council Chamber was full of local students and their parents for the 39th Annual Elementary Art Show and Awards Ceremony. The objective of the Elementary Art Show is to give students recognition for their artistic abilities by providing them with an opportunity to showcase their work at the Buena Park City Hall. The theme for this year's show is My Life in the Wild, and students were encouraged to use their imagination to create and tell us what their life in the wild would be. And the students really turned in an impressive amount of work this year. With the first through third place winners and their ribbons on display for everyone to see, the walls were full of very talented competition. We are standing here with Amy and she placed first for this wonderful piece of art behind us. Amy, tell us about your artwork. Well, I just really wanted to do it because you're always wondering what's in the jungle and you don't exactly know. So I thought it would be fun if you did half like a wonders of what you think of it and then half of what the facts show. And it's 3D. I see a lot of construction paper here too, as well as coloring, drawing. Yeah, I, my mom has a lot of papers, and I thought it would be really cool for 3D instead of just painting it or drawing it. So mom, has Amy always been this artistic? Amy has always been outside the box. She's always loved to paint and color and make things. Um, started painting birdhouses when she was about two, about 20 of them. She had a whole collection of them. And then she just, you know, she just goes. She does what's in her heart, what makes her happy. And it doesn't, this is exciting for her to have an award for it. But she really does what makes her happy. Well, congratulations, Amy. Thank you. I spoke with Patricia Mulligan of the Fine Arts Council about the good turnout of art entries. I'm with Patricia here and she's going to tell us a little bit about tonight's event. And Patricia, we were actually here a couple of years ago. I mean, the number of artwork, it's doubled or tripled, I think. <laughs> so tell us about that. We had a really good response from the local schools in, in the Buena Park area. We have over 190 pieces together that were given for grades kindergarten to through sixth grade. We came up with a um, what we thought was a theme that would help the kids trying to picture what they wanted to do. So it was my life in the wild, picturing where what the children's lives would be like in the wild. Were they going to be on the, in the Sahara or in the mountains or in Australia or a panda in China? And it was just 
all over the place and so the kids did really well. The students who didn't get to participate this year, if they want to participate next year, yes. what can they do? What they can just do is be aware of when it's coming out. We uh, advertise all over the place. We send out notices to local schools. We have uh, information up on the website. Also, a good place to check for it, too, is uh, the, face the city's Facebook page, um, where we have the information out. Also, in Buena Park today, when we're talking about what's coming up. And as you grow older, what we really like as part of the Youth Programs pro uh, Program for Fine Arts Commission is if you uh, graduate from the elementary school, we have the Junior High Art Show that's part of the Children's Festival in April and then next month we're going to be doing the high school art show. I also spoke with Mayor Art Brown about this event hosted by the city. So Mayor, we're standing in front of this lovely piece of artwork that placed first and tell us about the event like this. Um, what kind of things does it motivate the children? What does it do for the community? Well, the best part about it is elementary kids and we have three different grade levels, but it gives them a chance to express their interest in art. And tonight, those, like this one will win first place tonight. And it's, I was drawn to it immediately because I love penguins. <laughs> but uh, it gives the kids a chance to express, use their art, because the arts was cut back quite a bit in the uh, recession times in schools. But it's coming back now, and this is a great representation of it. We'll give the kids their first, second, and third prizes, and I will mention on them. But it, it'll encourage them, too, by getting them here that, uh, to continue with their art, love of art. I have JD with me and he's standing in front of his lovely artwork. Wow, JD, third place, a wolf. And can you tell us how you did this? Um, I used graphite and I used some of the, some of our, my dad's help. Wow, do you take art classes? Mm-mm. Oh my goodness, you did this all on your own? Yes. Uh, what? His, his uh, dad also helped him, he's an, also an artist and he helped him do the grid. So yeah, it was a big help for, for JD. Yeah. So your dad inspired you? Yes. And you like wolves? So yeah. that you did this? Uh -huh. yeah. How long did it take you? Uh, it took about like two days. Wow. But, uh, it, was a, it was a late to, um, do. It was a late treat. Congratulations, JD. Thank you. It was soon time to start the award ceremony and announce the winners for this year's Children's Art Show. Um, my name is Patricia Mulligan and I am the Youth Programs Committee Chair for the Buena Park Fine Arts Commission. Uh, and on, on behalf of the entire Fine Arts Commission, I would like to welcome you to the 39th Annual Elementary Art Show and Award Ceremony. Before we begin the awards presentation, we have a special guest who has some um, special words to share with our young artists. Ms. Marge Rollins, Chair of the Fine Arts Commission. Ms. Thank you, Trish. I just want to say how proud I am of the show this year. We have more art than we have ever had before. And uh, it's amazing what our children do. And I want to thank you 
for submitting your art. And I want to thank you for the, all, the, all the effort that you put into it, because it was quite a theme about the wild. And it's interesting to see some of the artwork that's out. And we have been doing this, as you know, for 39 years, and I hope we keep doing it for 40, 50 more years. This is wonderful, and I want you children to remember one thing. Don't forget your art. I don't care where you go, what school you go to, where you go in life. Always remember your art. It's a good outlet. When you're stressed with something, or you're not really feeling up to par, get out a pencil or get out your crayons and draw. It'll help ease your mind, and it'll help you relax. So don't forget it. And good luck to all of you, and my compliments to every one of you. Thank you. So we will be pausing for any pictures the parents or teachers want to take when the winners come up. So we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to start, and first of all, did everybody get a chance to go and look at the art? Look at all the drawings? Who's feel, who's feels kind of shamed for the way they draw now? <laughs> I felt that way in the kindergarten section. For the first place for first grade, we have uh, artwork by Leo Lee. I am the king in the wild world, Emory School. Our second grade first place winner, we have Shravan Guru, Rhinos in the Wild, Leo Elementary. Congratulations. Hey, you want to take a picture of mom, so move, move in a little closer there? Arushi Perkayatsa, Chameleon Changing Colors from Cerritos Elementary. Congratulations to all the students who joined the 39th Annual Elementary Arts Show.
been entering the art show for the past four years. And Gurneet, this is your drawing up here, looking into the wild, right, with the tiger and zebras. Can you tell us about it? The jaguar is looking at the zebras, and the zebras are playing in the water. Oh, it's a jaguar, yes, it's so beautiful. What inspired you to think about the art? What inspired you to make it? Well, I like to read, so when I was reading, I saw a jaguar and I wanted to draw that. Oh, well, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> So I know that the past two years you've gotten first place in your artwork, but this year you didn't place. Are you going to do it again next year? So Arushi, you just won first place for your drawing, or your painting I should say. Can you tell us about it? It's a solitaire chameleon. Uh, so chameleons change color and there's lots of different colors on here. What made you use salt? Well, my art teacher, she introduced me into some new um, painting techniques. So I decided to do salt art because I thought it would be fun. So how long have you been taking art? I think since I was four or five. Is this your first time entering this art show? No, I think I've went before. Well, we want to see you again next year. Okay, <laughs> maybe next year I'll enter again. Yes, and congratulations. Thank you. Hi, my name is Arushi Prakayasta and I won first place in the fourth, fourth grade art competition in Buda Park. <laughs>